A topic today is no true happiness while oppressed by endless desire. We use endless desire because uh, when you get attached with something, you judge that that's right, that's what I like, and that's the right thing to do, and you follow that desire, follow that thought, that desire, without knowing that's the trick of defilement. Okay. Yeah. See, true happiness is what everyone seeks. We seek for happiness. But most people cannot uh, keep the distinction between happiness and pressure. So we all want happiness. If we get a little pressure for something that we, we are doing, we consider that the happiness. But, you know, the real happiness is not come from the desire. It starts to have happiness by stop your desire. Don't be attached with anything, be yourself. Stop thinking and still your mind. When your mind getting still, that's a true happiness. That's a true happiness. Unless we call pressure and we confuse between those two words, happiness and pressure. The happiness will come from stealing the mind. But if you don't know the way and how to access even searching for life, cannot find true happiness. We will find only pressure. Or you may call a, a temporary, short temporary happiness, which is the pressure. Because of being corrupted, squeezing the hungry mind, the hungry mind. We, we were born with hunger. You know, uh, we were born with hunger. We were born with ignorance. We were born with uh, be oppressed by the defilement since we were born. So hungry mind, endless desires. When the mind is not pure, so there is only suffering. It's very important when the mind is not pure, when our mind is not still, when our mind uh, wandering with something, with some emotion, some desire, some attachment. So it's, there is only suffering. <clears throat> See, uh, the de defilement create a lot of things, but we don't realize that we are all surrounded by defilement that create endless desire. Desire, craving, come from the trick of defilement. 
send evil thought to our mind and we follow that thought over and over and over it become attachment and uh, when we get attached with it, that means our desire will create the desire more and more. So we, we, we can call it endless desire. It's uh, including greed, lust, hatred, anger, revenge, envy, jealousy, pride, prejudice, and ignorance. That's all the, the defilement uh, surrounded, surrounded us. Only when we totally eliminate the cause of suffering, which are all defilement stacked down to the bottom of the mind, If we can do that, purity will arise. Cause of suffering, it stacked down in the bottom of the mind. Why? Because we have encountered those, the, the trick of defilement over and over and over until we feel that uh, until we feel that we can live with it. For example, for example, fish uh, were born and live in the water, in, in the ocean. They, they don't feel uncomfortable with the salt water in the ocean. They can live with that. But we as a human, if we go down to the ocean, we, we will taste salty of the water. And if we dive under the water, we will feel uncomfortable because we need to breathe, but we cannot breathe under the water. But fish can do that. See, fish don't feel that, oh, the water is salty. And they think that they have, they don't need any oxygen to, to breathe all the time. So once in a while, they go up uh, to the surface of the, the ocean. So this is the cause of suffering, get inside and get into our habit. And we feel comfortable with living with, with suffering. That's that's the problem. So a lot stack down to the bottom of the mind. A lot of trick of defilement inside and we feel mm, feel okay with that. So if we can eliminate all that pure purity will arise. True happiness and it, in that purity there will be everything we need. We don't realize that the true happiness come from doing nothing. Think of nothing. So that purity, if we reach that purity, still our mind, stop thinking, 
there will be everything we need. But most of the time, when our still our mind and stop thinking, and we can complete, we can completely stop our thought. Uh, before I sleep, right? Because we have been trained uh, since we since we were born that uh, when we go we, we when we go to sleep we have to stop thinking. If we still thinking of something over and over, we we can't sleep. So we have to stop thinking, still our mind to a certain point that we fall asleep. This is the way we practice meditation. We, we got to be conscious that if we reach that point, we have to be conscious to carry on our mind uh, conscious. See, so eliminating all defilement, eliminating all defilements is the key to true happiness. So if we need to have the real happiness, true happiness, we have to eliminate all defilement. But the problem is we don't realize that we are surrounded by a defilement. We are oppressed by the defilement. So first of all, we gotta we have to know that what what is the trick of defilement. So we can eliminate those defilement. This is if we can do this is the key to true happiness. See, we have three groups of defilement. First group is greed and lust, uh, which is eager to have in bad way, a faith, COVID, uh, sensual desire, excitement of sensual pressure, sensual passion, sensual lust, sin, uh, desire desire for sensual pressure and attachment to the realm of form, greed for the formless realm. This is the greed and lust. That's defilement. This is the greed and lust result. So the result of that Steal, false claim, sheet, smucker, a corruption, explore, take advantage, rob, steal, counterfeit, forge, rockage, rascally. And this is the covetousness. The second group, hatred, anger, revenge, like uh, anger, furious or wrathful passion, ill will, grudge, enmity, repulsion, irritation, and anger. And And the result of that, you will hatred, malevolence, aversion, scold, damn, kill, murder, revenge, beat, slander, accuse, commit 
arson slash stab sarcastic lampoon that's result of hatred anger group the other group Uh, the other group of uh, defilement it's delusion delusion include invigilacy rivalry illusion deceit trick hypocrisy grab treachery obstinacy immobility hardness obduracy Headlessness, carelessness, negligent, indolence, remissness, self illusion, the delusion of self, egoistic view, doubt, perplexity, skepsis, skepticism, uncertainty, adherent to mere rule and ritual clinging to rule and vows, overestimation regarding the eff efficacy of uh, rules and of observate observance observance observances this is uh, the group of illusion and the result of it wrong view, fault view, betray, ungrateful, naive, thoughtless, foolish, ignorant, uh, stubborn, dogmatic, Vain, arrogant, insolent, rot, foul, alleged, bluff, careless. So the result of the betray, ungrateful, naive, thoughtless, foolish, ignorant, Stubborn, the, the base of that is wrong view and fault view. The, the deep, the deep root of the defilement is ignorant. And that group is conceit of uh, conceit the distraction that's the deep root of defilement so the, the endless desire is att attachment if we desire for something over and over we will be attached with with that thing. So we can call it endless desire. Being attached to defilement causes suffering. And the Buddha said, the root of suffering is attachment. So be mindful, be mindful and detached from all defilement. Then true happiness will be with you. Be mindful and detached from all defilement. True happiness will be with you. In other words, know the trick of defilement. 
and uh, don't follow that thought because the only thing that the defilement sent to our mind is evil thought. They keep sending evil thought to our mind. And our mind, if our mind uh, attached with that, then make decision to to order our brain to react because our brain control our body. So the only weapon that defilement sent to us is evil thought. If we just don't follow that thought, then we win. The the the, the defilement cannot do anything. If we can uh, know that trick of defilement and we don't follow the thought, stop thinking and just ignore them. Just see and let go, see and let go. We can use our equanimity is uh, being neutral in the middle. Don't fall uh, the, the absolute right or wrong. Just stay, listen, let it go. Think only when we when we need it. Okay. So that's it for today. Thank everyone to join this wisdom talk. <laughs>